Hey guys, it's Michael. Today's your Tuesday, May 19th. Stimulus check and stimulus package update. And we have a lot of information to go over with states reopening, the company Moderna, which is developing the vaccine for the coronavirus. What's going on there? Interviews with Trump and then also interviews with Republicans and what is happening with the second stimulus package. But before we get started, I'm doing a huge giveaway today. I'm giving away money in free stocks valued at $50 to three of you. Now, all you need to do in order to be eligible is like the video, comment down below the three stocks I mentioned in today's video. I'm going to say stock one is this, stock two is this, and I'm going to list them throughout the video. So make sure to watch until the end. And then the third thing is you need to be subscribed to my channel. Also, if we get this video to 15,000 likes, I'm going to double the amount I'm giving away in the next video. So anyways, let's get right into it and let's get into the key financial and economic news. The first thing is that Kohl's net sales tanked 43.5% during the first quarter this year. They announced this earlier today. The company said that as its stores were forced to temporarily shut down because of the coronavirus, that's what caused their decrease in sales. And Kohl said that out of all of their stores that had a temporarily shut down for the coronavirus, they said that 1,160 of these stores in the US have already opened back up for business. The company says it ended the quarter with $2 billion in cash and had $500 million available on its revolving credit facility. So it sounds like they're not in a terrible position. They have cash on hand and they have credit available. So that is good. Biotech company Moderna, the one that's developing the vaccine for the coronavirus, they said that they are offering new shares. They're doing another sh public offering of its shares. They're going to be pricing it at $76 for a total of $1.34 billion total. So that means they're going to be issuing new shares of their company at $76 each to raise additional money. And they say they're going to be using this additional $1.34 billion to help with manufacturing and distribution of their potential coronavirus vaccine. Their vaccine is still in the early stages. I mentioned this yesterday, how it's only been tested on eight people and they have to that's in phase one they have to roll this out to phase two and phase three of testing before it could be for widespread use so it's still in its very early stages but they seem pretty confident they're issuing new shares so then they could fund their manufacturing and distribution so we'll see how that goes and our stock number one for today is tesla so make sure to write that down Moving on, President Trump threatened the Director General of the World Health Organization, who it's called. He says that the United States will permanently end all funding to the organization if they do not commit to substantive improvements within the next 30 days. Trump doesn't think they're acting in the best interest of the U.S. He says that they could have done more with the coronavirus. He's just not happy with who at all. So according to Trump, he said he will remove all of U.S. funding from the World Health Organization if they don't make major improvements soon. So that is huge news as well. Next up is that the U.S. government has already distributed more than $1 trillion in aid as part of the Initial CARES Act. He said that more than 90% of stimulus payments for taxpayers have already been issued. This was according to Steven Mnuchin in an interview the other day. Moving on, let's get into the total number of cases. According to the CDC, there have been 1.5 million confirmed cases in the US and there's been 90,000 deaths. So that is in the US and then worldwide there's been 4.8 million confirmed cases and 317,000 deaths. So that is what's going on with that. Numbers are still increasing. So hopefully those start to decrease and we can start opening back up and things go according to plan. Next up is that a new body in the White House through the Congressional Oversight Commission, they released a report on Monday finding that the Treasury Department has spent very little of its $500 billion fund that was part of CARES Act 1. So in the first CARES Act, there was a $500 billion fund that was designed to help out businesses and local governments. And while even though these businesses and local governments have been requesting immediate access to this money. The Treasury Department has not sent out very much of this money yet. They've used less than 10%, even though these businesses and local governments have been requesting it. The $500 billion Treasury Fund was created by the CARES Act, and it was supposed to be used to help prop up large segments of the U.S. economy, including 
airline companies, small and mid-sized businesses, large corporations, and cities and states. $500 billion that was put in this program is just sitting there and it's not being used. So this is unfortunate because Steven Mnuchin says how the economy should be recovering in the third and fourth quarters of this year, but I don't understand how he expects it to recover if $500 billion, which is supposed to be given to businesses and state and local governments, isn't being used and isn't being spent. Like, well, there's no good of passing a stimulus package if they don't actually spend all the money. You know, if you don't get your stimulus checks out to all Americans and you don't get funds for local governments and businesses, then it doesn't do anything. So they need to make sure to get this money out soon. They should be talking about it today in a meeting at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So I'll keep you updated on that. What's the status of this money if they're starting to spend it? And also in this fund, there's $46 billion set aside to make loans and loan guarantees to the airline industry. This makes sense. Airline company stocks have been plummeting and they need these loans and loan guarantees, yet the treasury has not yet distributed these funds and they need to get these out soon because airline companies are really struggling. Next up is that Steven Mnuchin, the treasury secretary, and Jerome Powell, the director of the Federal Reserve, are going to be talking today at 10 a.m. They're going to be talking about specific aspects of this $2 trillion stimulus package. It's an important interview. It's going to be a remote hearing and they're going to be talking with the Senate. So this is going to be huge. I'll let you guys know any major updates, new information that they say on the status of the stimulus package. Next up is our second stock of the day, which is Home Depot. Moving on, President Trump on Monday, he continued his push for businesses to start to reopen as quickly as possible. But companies and cities are saying that they're waiting for funds from the government and they're unsure of what to expect because of all of the rule changes with all of the funding. The PPP program, the money from that keeps changing on what requirements you need. So a lot of companies and cities say that they're a little hesitant because they've been waiting for money from the government and they don't know really what to expect because the rules keep changing on with regards to funding. And then finally, Trump revealed that he's taking a drug called hydroxychloroquine to protect against the virus. Even though this drug has not been proven at all by any scientists, by any researchers, there's no proven reason why he should be taking this. This drug is typically taken to treat lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and malaria. And the FDA has warned that it should not be taken outside of the hospital. So basically, according to the FDA, this drug does not treat the virus at all, and it should not be taken outside of hospital settings. So Trump is taking it, even though it says it doesn't treat it at all, and he's taking it outside of a hospital setting. So just wanted to point that out as well. Moving on, let's get into the new stimulus check and what is going on there. There's a couple of important updates from the Senate, what's happening with the status of the HEROES Act, so we'll get into all of that. So in a Forbes report last week, a recent survey indicates that 74% of Democratic voters and 53% of Republican voters support the second stimulus package. And this is really important because on the political front, the stimulus proposal naturally has more support from the Democrats, but there is a good chance that some Republicans will cross the party lines and they will vote yes, and they'll vote for this stimulus package. Well, why? Well, the elections are coming up soon. So if any of the Republicans are on the border and they're not sure if they'll get reelected, they will probably cross the party lines and vote for this stimulus package because they wanna get reelected. And a majority of voters want a second stimulus package. So it's only going to help their chances in getting reelected. So that is good news for us with a second stimulus package. Many Republicans predict a rapid economic recovery as lockdowns end and states start to reopen. So they say that the government Next up is that a lot of the Republicans are predicting a rapid economic recovery. They think as states reopen and businesses start to reopen and lockdowns end that we're going to see a rapid economic recovery. So they think that the stimulus package and government aid should be aimed more towards getting people back to work instead of giving direct payments. So I'll keep you updated on that. Next up is a good piece of news with the second stimulus package, and that is that Republicans have been discussing bonuses for workers who get rehired, and they embrace some ideas in the House proposed bill in the HEROES Act, including the tax credits for employers who keep workers on payroll, but the dispute about the path ahead and what sort of agreement we're going to come to, how much money could be in potential stimulus payments, that is still up for debate. There's a lot of debate going on there with what should be in the second stimulus package. But it's just good news because they're starting to debate what aspects they like, what they don't like. So we're starting to make progress there. And finally, Republicans have not yet ruled out direct stimulus payments. A lot of you guys have been thinking and commenting that there's not going to be any sort of second stimulus payment. But according to this and what the Republicans have been saying, they say that they haven't ruled out direct 
payments yet. They're just focused on other provisions right now in the bill and they want to wait until after Memorial Day and after the recess for Memorial Day. So we'll see what goes on there. We'll get more details on exactly what a second stimulus package will look like after Memorial Day. There's a lot of talk going around right now, but there's not a set amount that we could expect to receive or even we don't know when we will receive this money yet. So our third and final stock of the day is Chewy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you sign up for the Webull Investing app. It's a great app. It's so easy to use. All you need to do is download the app, deposit $100 into your account, and you'll get two free stocks valued up to $1,400. Also get one free stock when you sign up for Robinhood. Don't forget to check out our links down below and join our Power of Finance Investors group, as well as our Discord group, Community Chat. Thank you so much for watching. Please. Be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.